Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video, we're going to share some tips and tricks you can try out on the POCO F1. So POCO F1 is the first uh, smartphone under the POCO branding. It's a sub-brand of Xiaomi in India and uh, this device uh, comes with really great hardware at an affordable price segment. So on the software side, this device runs on Android 8.1 Oreo and we have MIUI for POCO. So unlike the standard MIUI which we have seen on other Xiaomi smartphones including the Redmi and Mi series, the MIUI for POCO is quite different. So in this video, we'll share some tips and tricks you can try out on the MIUI for POCO. So let's get started. So here we can see that there is an app drawer. So you just swipe from the bottom and you can get to the app drawer and you can see that uh, apps are uh, arranged according to the grouping. So you can see entertainment tools, shopping, uh, finance and uh, games, communication, news and reading. So these are uh, the grouping available and these are auto grouped according to the category. And if you click the three uh, lines here, you can see all the groups available uh, and you can just drag and rearrange them. So there you go. You can drag and rearrange them and if you want to hide a particular category for example if you want to hide games just go uh, click here and uh, bring to the hide menu so now you can see that games are not available in the list uh, in the group category so that's how you can group uh, i mean hide a particular grouping now let's go to the home screen so and uh, you can see the settings here so here we have this option called hide apps so just select this and uh, you can just create uh, uh, a pattern so there you go uh, you can turn on fingerprint uh, as well so swipe uh, right twice to get to the hidden apps so just swipe twice and uh, here we can see that right now no apps are hidden so what you need to do is just click here and add a particular app to hide for example if you don't want uh, uh, a game say for example asphalt 8 i'm just hiding so hidden apps so uh, you can see that now uh, asphalt uh, it will not be available in the app list and if you want to access it just swipe uh, twice and you can see this uh, hidden apps and uh, you can unhide it if you don't want uh, from the hidden list that's uh, another useful option now uh, going to going back to the settings uh, you can click the more icon here and uh, we have this uh, default icon pack so uh, by default you can see this is a system icon pack and if you want a third party icons uh, to be installed you can click here click add more and you can uh, either open with the play store and download icons or go with the me store me app store and then uh, download icons and once you're uh, downloaded you can uh, select them from here that's the icon pack available then you have the option to group apps automatically so categorize apps in the app drawer automatically so whenever you install a new app it will be automatically grouped according to the category it is and then uh, we have this uh, option to show the memory status so selecting this uh, what you can do is when you click the recent tab you can uh, see that uh, now uh, you can see that there is a memory status available so 5.4 gigabyte out of the 8 gigabyte available so this is shown now uh, when you have enabled the uh, memory status in the home screen and recents now going on to the settings so here we can see that uh, this uh, device has miui it, it has quite similar looks uh, in terms of the miui but uh, there are lots of additional options available so we'll go through one by one so first going to the display settings so we have this reading mode so we all know the reading mode uh, is quite useful especially when reading uh, uh, in the night it will reduce the eye strain and uh, you can enable the reading mode and uh, this will uh, go to the warm out tone and you can adjust the uh, uh, the reading mode settings so you can go for a warmer tone or a slightly cooler tone based on that so you can have a custom period for reading mode as well so that's the reading mode which is quite useful then uh, we have this option for uh, colors and contrast uh, on the display so default color is available if you want a warmer tone you can select that if you want a co cooler tone you can go for that there is also option for automatic contrast and uh, if you want increased contrast you can select that and there is also standard option available then there is an option called double tap to wake so when you enable uh, you can uh, see that when i enable that's the double tap to wake option then another useful option is the rise to wake so rise to wake what it does is instead of pressing the power button each time you want to use the device rise to wake uh, when enabled if you lift the device you can see that it will uh, automatically uh, turn on the display that's rise to wake so that's quite useful next going to lock screen and password 
so here we have the fingerprint data and face data so manage fingerprint and you can also have uh, additional options so we'll just come back to that first let's go to the manage fingerprint option so right now we can see that a fingerprint can be used for app lock as well so this is enabled and uh, we can also use the fingerprint for payments so other than the lock screen it can also be used for app lock similarly the face data can also be used for app locking now next let's go to uh, the other option so advanced settings you can see you can have an honor uh, information displayed on the lock screen so you can just add a, a particular text and this will be displayed in the lock screen then there is also a pocket mode so when once this is enabled uh, it will lock the touch gestures when uh, the device is in the pocket based on how you use so it will not uh, uh, make any unwanted calls or dials uh, if when the device is inside the pocket now coming down you can see that uh, the option called full screen display so select this option and you can see that uh, if you don't want uh, the icons that is a uh, back button home button and the recent key you can go for a full screen gesture so there is also option to mirror the button so you can see that you can have a uh, uh, either the recent key on the left side or on the right side based on how you want then hide the notch so if you don't want the notch you can see that you can uh, disable the notch right now so there is an option called hide the notch and uh, once you enable that uh, you can see that notch will be disabled so that's another option then um, you can also see that there is an option for full screen gestures so once you enable this uh, you can see there is an option to learn the gestures so you can perform these actions using the gestures go to home screen open reasons and go back so first you can see that learn option so swipe from the bottom so that's the home screen then uh, swipe from the bottom and pause that's how you can uh, go for multitasking or reasons button swipe from the edge that's how you can go back to the uh, back back option so that's uh, the uh, back uh, home and the multitasking gesture so that's the uh, full screen gesture supported so if you want uh, to enable the gestures you can do it from here so if you want uh, you can see that i have gone back to the home screen so now next uh, let's go to the second space so the second space is an area where you can uh, create uh, a completely different space uh, on the device so that means we'll have two different areas one probably will be your uh, default area and then other one it can be your uh, work area where you have all the documents files and other stuffs which are work related so you can just turn on the second space and this will create a completely different uh, space you can see two spaces one device and uh, it's now created and uh, we have uh, uh, you can uh, set uh, uh, the second uh, space has a password pin or any other option uh, you can just uh, set a password and uh, once this is confirmed what you can do is uh, uh, you can uh, have uh, a second space wherein uh, this is the second space right now and you can see that this is completely different from the area where we were testing and there is an option called a uh, switch wherein you can go back to the uh, the previous space and i can see that uh, it will require you to uh, enable the pin or password to go back to the previous area so th both the uh, areas are password protected and uh, they, they offer complete uh, protection and security next going to the storage so storage you can see that there is an option called cleaner at the bottom so what it does is it this will actually clean up uh, junk files available in your folder i mean the device so you can see that right now this uh, uh, thrash size is around 700 mb so this is cache files uh, and then uh, memory files and uh, other packages you can just clean up the memory using this option so that's another useful option available then coming down uh, going to the additional settings so here we have an option called a uh, uh, quick ball once you turn this on you can see a small uh, ball uh, on the display and uh, this can be moved and what it does is when you tap on this you get some additional options like home multitasking lock uh, take a screenshot and you can also add a uh, different shortcuts here so these are the shortcuts available and you can even customize these shortcuts then uh, hide automatically you can hide this option automatically and stick to the edge uh, after three seconds so this is now sticking to the edge you can see that this is the uh, option and that sticks to the uh, the edge after three seconds so this is some options to customize the quick ball then uh, next uh, we have the option for button and just a shortcuts so launch camera so you can uh, select uh, what you want to do uh, i mean what uh, step uh, you want to take uh, to open the camera so double press the power button long press the home button so these are options for example if i select double press the power button uh, if you go back and uh, 
so there you go you can just directly come back to the uh, camera so this is uh, another useful option in the button and gesture so similarly you can uh, uh, there are different options for uh, take a screenshot three finger uh, swipe is there turn on screen torch uh, you can turn on uh, split screen you can do and lot of things you can do uh, with the button and gestures then there is one handed mode so one handed mode uh, is quite uh, an useful thing so swipe uh, left or right on the home button to uh, pull the screen uh, closer to the small screen so you can just swipe uh, here so this is a uh, uh, one handed mode you can select the screen size 4.5 inches 4 inches and 3 inches so either way you can uh, enable this uh, home gestures uh, either from the left or from the right side so that's one handed mode then if you come down you can see that uh, dual app support so dual apps can be enabled for almost all apps so recommended apps are social networking apps so basically dual apps is uh, running two instances of the same app for example you can have two instances of facebook whatsapp uh, you can have different accounts there and uh, you can configure them so dual apps are quite useful if you want to run two whatsapp or two facebook accounts then there is an app lock option so app lock is again uh, self explanatory you can add uh, uh, apps uh, to a password protected list say for example i have enabled uh, gallery so just uh, we just uh, enable a password so we'll enable for youtube app and uh, we'll come back and then uh, we'll open the youtube app so there you go so you can see that uh, uh, this will ask for the uh, password uh, and uh, you can enter via fingerprint and then open the app so this is app lock via fingerprint scanner and this is quite a useful option now uh, to protect your apps and then there is also uh, the option called uh, security so this is a uh, pretty useful uh, option uh, which gives you option to clean the data i mean clean the junk files there is also boost speed battery usage app lock then uh, we have mentioned all these things there is also games or speed booster so if you are a person who uh, loves playing a lot of games there is also game speed booster so these are some of the useful tips and tricks you can try out on the poco f1 with the mi y for poco so hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos this is normal signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day